In a sudden reversal, the international paper mill in Ticonderoga opted out of a natural gas pipeline deal with Vermont Gas Systems. That decision puts an end to phase two of the pipeline project. A spokesperson for International Paper tells us the project simply became too expensive and the company is now exploring other energy options. WPTZ's Allison Carey has the story. The International Paper Mill in Ticonderoga employs more than 600 people and receives regular deliveries from roughly 700 others. At the factory, what comes in as wood leaves as printer ready paper. Value added papers, color copy, laser print, jet print. Uh, it's termed uncoated free sheet is what it's called. In October 2012, the factory made a deal with Vermont Gas Systems to create a natural gas pipeline from Middlebury to Ticonderoga. The original cost estimate was $69 million, but that number grew to $135 million, according to IP. So they pulled the plug on the pipeline. For us, it was a decision, do we invest in the natural gas pipeline at this time? Uh, does it make business sense? And at the cost that we were hearing and the time delay that we were hearing, it didn't make business sense. There's a lot of history here. There's been a paper mill in Ticonderoga since the year 1890. But this company is looking forward. They're looking to other types of renewable and sustainable energy. We have a recovery boiler, which is part of the craft recovery system. Uh, it's burning black liquor, which is a residual of the pulping process. That's a 100% renewable energy. The mill is also powered by number six fuel oil, bark, wood chips, and hydroelectric power through the Recharge New York program. Although IP terminated its contract with Vermont Gas, the company will continue converting its equipment. Compressed natural gas will become a part of our fuel mix. And where we go from there, we'll just, you know, we've got to step back and look at, analyze what the options are. In Ticonderoga, Allison Carey, WPTZ, News Channel 5.